Hi YouTube, it's your girl Love Kisses 99 and I'm coming to you today with a quick tutorial on how to make your own clip-in hair pieces. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to get started and here's our wig clip. These are the little teeth that are going to attach the weft of hair to your hair. So we're just going to take the extension and we're just going to line up. There's holes in here, which is right here. We're going to line that up with the edge of the weft of hair. We're going to take our thread and you go through the weft of hair right through the hole in the wig clip. And I'm going to loop this through in order to anchor it and keep the little clip from slipping around. And we're just going to sew like this. And it's really simple, it's really easy to make the clips yourself at home. And that's pretty much how you sew one side. So I'm going to cut the thread off and show you how I tie it to keep it from, you know, keep the little clip from falling off. So just stay tuned, okay? So now what I'm going to do is take the thread, I'm going to cut it here, cutting off the excess, and I'm going to take the two ends of the thread, which are here, and just tie a little knot in it. That's one little tie. And we're going to knot it again, that way it will keep the clip from falling off. And tie that nice and tight. Then we're going to take that and cut off the excess thread. So now you have one side of your clip all sewn on and it's nice and tight. It's not going to come loose, it's going to stay put. And we're just going to sew this side as well, the same way we did the other sides. So I'll do that for you and show you how quick that is. So hold on one second. Okay, so now we're going to get started and we're going to attach this side of the wig clip. Same thing, in through the little hole on the clip. And we're going to anchor it. Same deal. It's very easy. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be making your own clips more often. That way you don't have to spend that money on, you know, buying them in the store because they are a little bit more extensive. Plus, before you throw out your um, the hair that's already used and you can't use it anymore, you can take those same clips and use them again. So the clips really are reusable and that way you'll save a little bit of money. And there you have the other side attached. I'm going to cut the thread off and tie it off the same way as I did the other side. So then that way we have our clip all installed and ready to go. So here we have the track all made. And here it is with the two small wig clips, one on each end. And these are ready to be used. So I'm going to take an older lace unit that I have and show you how to put them on. So stay tuned, okay? Okay, so here's the hair all parted. So you would take the track of hair, which is this. Open up the little clips in the back. Make sure that they're open. And then you would slide it down 
onto your own hair. Some people tease it a little bit, but you could slide it onto your own hair and clip and go along this side and slide it down, close that clip, and that's how you would do your clip-ins. So what you would do, cover the clip-ins you already installed and put another one here and just work your way through your whole head until you have as much volume and as much length and width as you need. So that's just my quick way of showing you how to make the clip-ins and then how to put them in. And I'm sure you can see a great contrast between the two colors, but I just did this so you would be able to see how to put it in. So that's all for right now, and I'm hoping you have an absolutely wonderful day today, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.